When we think about the other types of immunotherapies that we could apply to head and neck cancer, naturally we have to think about adoptive uh, cell therapy, and, and mostly we're thinking about T cells. And, and we have to just step back for a second and realize that when we talk about uh, adoptive cell transfer, adoptive cell therapy, it comes in many forms. It can come into the form of simple uh, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, that is uh, taking tills out of a person's tumor, expanding them ex vivo, and then putting them back in. Or it can be much more sophisticated in the form of chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T cell therapy. Now, the question of whether CARs can actually be applied to head and neck cancer is uh, a good one and one that's being intensively investigated. The real problem in head and neck cancer, as it is with many solid tumors, is finding the right target. Because we've learned from other experience with CAR therapy is if you have the right target, you can see tremendous responses. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is one such example with CD19. But if you have the wrong target, then uh, patients can get into trouble and there's even been fatalities and there unfortunately been some notorious uh, studies with that. And so the, the first challenge is finding the right target. Um, and there are some that are primarily uh, stem cell antigens that are expressed exclusively or almost exclusively on cancer cells. Uh, ROR1, ROR1 is one such target. And people are beginning to look at that in head and neck cancer. Uh, and there may be some others uh, that are being developed that, uh, further that are uh, a little bit earlier in development.